and got y'all on a daily. And unfortunately, they erased all my projections on all of my coins. You know, but it is what it is. So I go ahead and put our major support and resistance lines back down here. But if y'all been watching my content, y'all see that I know what I'm talking about. And it literally followed the whole projection the whole way for the longest. But anyways, as you can see, we came down here. And I gave y'all the last one at 37,700, right? And y'all see this large candlestick? That's what I meant. It had to break down there with extreme force because you see right here. See the support? Support, 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 support. That's how I knew. Just like it was breaking out. Like breaking upwards, I have to have a nice candlestick to break through it. The EMA going upward. And it has to do the same thing as going down. So that's why we got a larger candlestick and a continuation down. And like I told y'all before, since it hit the 200 EMA right here, when the second drop, I already knew it, they was planning on tricking everyone just to reverse the market, and that's what they're doing. So basically, when they touch this, and then touch this time, they're just saying that it, the third time it comes down, it's going to smash through. Just like, like I said with this EMA, well, not the EMA, but the um, support level, right? It has to smash through this EMA. Instead of tapping and, re, you know what I'm saying, retracing instantly to keep it up, it's going to go down to the next zone. And like I say, this zone right here, the $30,000 range is the next target. Like I mentioned in my previous video, after we broke past the 37700 Y'all check the video out, check it yourselves, and exactly what I said, and y'all see it's happening right now. So as we come down here, completely recover these candles for this initial jump, and then we'll make a jump upwards right back up here to the 200 EMA, which be around 3500 I mean, excuse me, $35,000. And also at the same time, the 20 EMA should be crossing over the 200 EMA. And then we will get rejected. And then we're going to start going down toward this $20,000 range. Now let me show you all the weekly so I can see it clear. So on the weekly, right? Boom. 20,000 range is way back here, right? Where we had our first initial jump. And it was resistance. So that's why it's got to be support level as it's coming back down. Even right here, you see we got resisted. Right here, you see this little red red stick for the week. And then it continued on and shot up. So we basically recover these candlesticks, right? For this initial jump, like I said. And we're going to get a jump up. Get that rejection, like I mentioned, around 35. Which is just general area, you know what I'm saying? Not too far where it's at now. And then we're going to smash down. Because as you can see, we're working on this candlestick right here. But once we dump this candlestick, we on this one. So we had to come down, you know what I'm saying? At least $26,000 within the next drop. And that'll be a touch to this 100 EMA on the weekly. But the thing is, I mean, it's still not, you know what I'm saying? It's going to still go further down. That's only going to go down there to trick some traders, you know? They don't, like, oh, it's going to reverse. It's going to reverse now since it's touching the EMA. So boom, that's what they want you to think. But they're going to continue down because it clearly shows that if you just don't know or see what I see, I mean, you can fall for it easily, but you got to think like a market maker. They want you to think one thing when it's another, but you look around the world, it's clearly exactly what it looks like. A large head and shoulders, and they're just faking you out to continue on down. So basically, we hit this 20,000 range, and that's why I'm saying I projected to go to 20,000. That's pretty resistance, and it should be good support. But at the same time, you know, they can do what they want because they're going through, we're going through a great reset right now. So, I mean... 20,000 I mean that's a good range but honestly it can go lower because to be honest with you for a complete recovery of all these candlesticks and within the recent times so within the last few years right we're actually be coming way down here recovery this candlestick right here and that is down there around $5,500 I'm not going to say I'm just throwing it out there that that's a, still a possibility just because of the fact and, and the seriousness of what's happening around the world, it could come all the way down and recover every single bit. Because as you're going to see right here, the same thing happened here when it when it came down in 2020. came down with a nasty candlestick, and they, they, that spike up, though. That's what makes it going to be real fast to recover everything. And it came down, recovered all this out that gap perfectly. And it went right back on up. So the thing is, but it's so high now. Whenever this happens, it's going to be a nasty candlestick. We still haven't seen it yet now. We've seen it on top small time frames, but a weekly candlestick is going to be like this. But we see up so high, it's going to be worse than this. Because only 33%, we're going to see at least a candle at some point of at least like 40% in a week. 40 to 
and that's gonna be the main one that's gonna take us down to 20,000. But it's a spike down. It could spike all the way down here to 10,000, then come back up. But either way it goes, it's gonna come back up around 20,000. That's that's when you should hop back in once we get above 20,000 again. But otherwise, the thing can keep dropping as far as it wants, really. Because look at the structure of it. This head and shoulders. Usually head and shoulders come right back down to where it started from. And where it this the whole thing started from is at ten thousand dollars. The whole run. And that just me really being honest. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna reevaluate the situation as we get further and further and further in. And y'all see it all played out. And it clearly looks as if they may go even lower than twenty thousand. And it would make sense just structure wise, you know, and what it shows in the chart literally shows that we could actually come down to ten thousand dollars. But we can wait till you get twenty thousand, see what it is then first, you feel me? But things is looking pretty serious. And like I said, once we pass this thirty thousand line, this is when we'll get our first that first candlestick is gonna recover all of this. That's gonna be the fifty percent candlestick right here. And as soon as we drop below thirty. And y'all see what's happening in Bitcoin during the weekend. You know what I mean? Usually the weekends, you know, because the banks is closed and it's, it, you know what I'm saying, real volatile. But they drop price a lot. So they could keep dropping this price. But the thing is, you can wake up in the morning. You know the stock market been closed all weekend. We could wake up and the stock market look just like this. And that's what's going to happen. And that's going to cause a chain reaction to make people crash the market themselves too. So, it's about to get serious in every single market because they're trying to switch everything digital, man. You know, they don't want to pay no extra price, you know what I'm saying, for stuff that they're trying to switch everything else to. They're going to drop that thing, too. That's how they transfer money, like crashing these markets and taking everybody else's. But, yeah, like I said, the structure alone, 20000 our next range after we drop below thirty. And like I said, we'll reevaluate the situation because it could look bad. But anyways, anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all growing, y'all make your own decisions. But like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.